Hi, Lisa Stedman here for lisastedman.com. Welcome to day five of my 30 day get out there challenge in June. I'm so excited to be talking to you today. This is very important to your success this month as you're getting out there and talking to cuties. I want you to be able to understand the difference between dating disappointments and actual heartbreak. So let me break it down for you. As you're pushing your comfort zone, as you are learning to be bold and smile, make eye contact, start a conversation, and there have been great tips on my blog from other experts about how to initiate interaction with men. So as you're starting to do that, as you're pushing your comfort zone and getting out there, there are going to be times when it doesn't quite work. Things don't go your way. Now, let's be clear. That is dating disappointment, not heartbreak. So how do you distinguish the two? Here's how. Dating disappointment is going to happen. It happens all the time when you put yourself out there. Sometimes somebody's not interested in you. Sometimes you think a date went really well and they don't ask for another date. Sometimes somebody says they're gonna call and they don't. Not your problem, it's not personal. So yes, you can feel disappointed, but the minute you personalize it and think, oh, this means I suck, this means I'm supposed to be single forever, and you follow that trail that spirals down into despair and confusion and heartbreak, that's dangerous behavior. So let yourself feel disappointed when something doesn't work out and give yourself an expiration date. Then pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get back out there. Keep making eye contact, keep trying, keep flirting, keep smiling, keep doing what you need to do to get those different results. Now heartbreak, heartbreak happens too. However, heartbreak shouldn't happen unless you have been in a relationship with somebody, you have exchanged I love you's, you have been intimate, and you have really shared yourself on an intimate and emotional level with somebody. That should not happen in the first couple of months. Disappointment happens. Heartbreak should not happen every time something doesn't work out. Heartbreak is specifically for when you have invested time, energy, emotion, more than a couple of weeks, more than a month. You need to really know the difference so that you can understand, oh, this hurts, but actually I'm just disappointed. I'm not heartbroken. Big difference. I actually talk a lot about this in my book, If He's Not the One Who Is, What Went Wrong and What It Takes to Find Mr. Right, which you can pick up on Amazon. And now is a good time during my 30 day challenge to do that and get back out there. Have fun today. Learn the difference between disappointment and heartbreak and you are gonna rock my 30 day challenge. Bye.